Hey everyone, we'll hear my flea market finds for November 5th, uh, 2017. Uh, not a lot to show you. Uh, I had a rainy day today and uh, you know that always cuts down on the amount of sellers, but uh, I spent a good bit of money this week. Um, got some couple things, a little bit risky, but uh, uh, I think they should do well. Uh, let me show you what I got. It's a uh, West Point. I don't know if you can see in there. Cadet Store West Point. And uh, extremely well made uh, overcoat. Um, got the uh, Cadet USMA, US United States Mil Military Academy. Um, like I said, extremely well made. Um, paid forty dollars for this, and I see on Worth Point they're bringing uh, somewhere between a hundred on up to two hundred. Um, I think a hundred and fifty is reasonable for this. Uh, some more dials. Um, it's uh, Barney Rubble uh, from. Uh, 1960. Uh, these were all five dollars a piece. It's a Huckleberry Hound. Um, I believe it's uh, Knickerbocker. Let's see. Yeah, it's a Knickerbocker. Uh, they're not in business anymore. And uh, the same way with the cat. I forget the name of the cat. Um, same toy, Huckleberry Hound, uh, made by Knickerbocker, and uh, one of these trolls. Um, just had one a few weeks ago, and the name, I can't think of it right now, uh, Circle R. Um, but he's, uh, he's an otter. Pretty cool. Uh, love the lamp. Very, uh, I don't think that this piece goes with it, what's original to it, I should say. But I love the, uh, love the girl, very uh, art, art deco uh, looking, or art nouveau. Um, the wire is uh, shot, but it looks like it should be a pretty straightforward rewire job. Um, so I think I might uh, rewire that before I sell it. Uh, the lamp was 40. And uh, to rewire it won't, uh, won't be much at all. Uh, I think I already have the wire. Um, after it's wired up, uh, probably over over $100 for that. I have to uh, do some research. My son Nathan got himself a uh, G.I. Joe uh, paratrooper. Uh, he was still in a box, but uh, Nathan took care of that very quickly. Um, Got his uh, reserve chute, his uh, folding uh, folding stock carving, uh, $10 on that. Thought these were pretty neat, took a chance on them. Um, it was uh, uh, $10 for the five of them. Um, they're like little pins made out of mink, I'm not sure. Uh, the belt's pretty neat, Russian with the anchor. Um, assuming it's Russian Navy, uh, the metal toy uh, is marked 105 Howitzer. Uh, do a little research, and I'll figure out what company made that. The rivet's cool. I love stuff like this. Uh, original rivet from the Liberty ship John W. Brown, um, driven August 1942. Uh, one of the last Liberty ships around. I think uh, they got the John Brown over here. Uh, uh, um, I think it's uh, in Baltimore. And uh, there's one more Liberty ship over on the West Coast. Uh, and that's it. Uh, they had, there was a lot of them. Um, definitely uh, helped win the war. Uh, World War II. A uh, grouping of arrowheads. Really... Uh, Really well done little uh, small game bird uh, bird points. 
I'd love to find these in a, out in the wild. I've never found one myself. Uh, five bucks. Find them at the flea market doesn't count. <laughs> uh, five bucks for a lot there. Um, piece of a uh, Heise. Love the Heise glass with the mark on the bottom, H inside of a diamond. Uh, always high quality, always heavy, uh, perfect condition. Paid 12 for that, even though glass is kind of a hard sell. Um, I'm still attracted to it because uh, when I first got into buying at uh, flea markets and yard sales uh, back in the 80s, uh, glass was popular then. Um, definitely not like it is now. Uh, the uh, paperweight was uh, five from the same person. Marked on the bottom, uh, Gentile Glass, uh, Star City, West Virginia. Very well done. Little Tootsie Toy uh, cement mixer. That was uh, three bucks. Love the ornament for three dollars. Picture of the White House. And it's uh, painted on the inside, which is really cool. Somebody used, uh, like, uh, paintbrushes at, that were bent at angles to uh, paint all that. Um, it really, uh, it's really something. Uh, they would take the time to do that. Who, uh, who would think of such a thing? Uh, Wells Fargo uh, Stagecoach. Um even though it's made by uh, made in China, it's still uh, still a neat little company piece with the original box. Uh, two bucks on him. Whole bunch of jewelry this week. Uh, let me. Uh, this could be a nice piece if I could just make out the signature, uh, which I may not be able to. Uh, but uh, love finding the uh, designer pieces. I've, I've had good luck uh, with designer pieces in the, ba in the past. Six bucks on that. Got a sterling inlaid owl ring, six bucks. It's an abalone uh, pen. Uh, some of these I haven't even looked at too closely. Uh, this is silver. So, I'll double check and make sure it's sterling. Uh, it says Avon, but uh, it's not. It's uh, um, hammered sterling. And I'm uh, not sure if that's a stone. It kind of looks like metal. Um, love everything. Love this ring. It's got a nice look to it with the leaves. So, uh, got a lion's head there. Military one. Always does well. A little trigger box with uh, abalone uh, inlaid brass. That was five bucks. A little uh, sterling necklace, eight. I think it's a Thunderbird ring, uh, five bucks. On that, a couple others. Nice heavy one here. Hopefully, that's sterling. Uh, eight bucks on that. Kind of looks like a Harley ring. I uh, love the big chunky, chunky bracelet uh, for seven. Even though it's custom, I mean costume, uh, they can still bring good money. A uh, little sterling ring there. That was like five. Uh, the bracelet, 15. Love the Mexican uh, silver balls. Um, that was uh, 15 on that. Uh, test them, see what they come up as. Uh, perfumes, got a Giorgio for $4, perfume set for 5 uh, Always buy the perfumes when they're cheap, because you never know. Uh, and a uh, 10 carat uh, set, that was 15 probably more, uh, more than that in gold uh, scrap alone. Love the uh, shark tooth, that's uh, sterling with a sterling chain. Uh, that was... Um, 15 on that. 
uh, another big buy here. Uh, these are all um, made by uh, Bora, Bora Yassar as the designer. Um, you can see it's a he makes some cool looking things. It definitely his uh, they stand out. Uh, love the uh, turquoise. Uh, oxidized silver and uh, wouldn't surprise me a lot of times he uses gold uh, accents but uh, definitely some cool pieces uh, this lot was um, $400 for the seven rings but uh, I feel that I could uh, I'm probably get around 800 for these. Love the ring there with the uh, angels holding up the uh, purple, purple stone. Um, where's that mark? Oh, it's down the side there. Um, love the uh, the Roman coin ring. So I think I'll end up getting around 800 or so. I think this one alone, that's, that's the winner out of the bunch. I think this one will probably go for around 250. This one will go for around 150. So if I sell those two, that'll give me my money back. And then I have the other five to sell. And if I just average a hundred on the other five, um, you know, you're looking at like nine hundred bucks right there. So hopefully, we'll see. We'll get them listed. Um, another big purchase, and uh, with a big spider crawling around here. Go on. Uh, don't think the bag goes with it. Personal records, SVDV, AAG, AAG, anti-aircraft gun, uh, Army Air Group. Uh, not sure. Uh, these are surgeon's tools. Really cool. Um, take a look. Medical Department, U.S. Army. This is uh, World War One. A little. Uh, and it's pretty much complete. Love the, uh, the little set here. I mean, that's seen use. Uh, the scalpel's actually been sharpened many times. Um, and this one, uh, a little bit of everything in here. Love the little saw. Lots of stuff. I don't think this one was marked, but it it's all uh, tells you what goes where. Bone gouge, bone chisel. Um, this is something that somebody, this will, I'm going to sell this all in one lot, and uh, it's something that somebody will buy and probably just uh, put in a display case or something. I believe these are retractors, I'm not sure. Uh, $400 for this lot. Um, it was a big purchase. I kind of debated whether the money's there, but uh, um, kind of hard to look this stuff up because it, it's not a whole lot out there. Um, I'm going to put a really high price on it and uh, see what happens. Probably put around uh, 900 1200 I don't know. I have to do a little more research and... Uh, see what happens uh, so there we go uh, keep an eye on my store terminal 99 which is where most of the stuff will be appearing over the next couple days oh you know what I forgot these three uh, the uh, sculpture the girl um, she was 15 
I don't think she's stoned. Seems like some kind of uh, uh, A. Santini. Seems like some kind of, uh, I don't want to call it resin, but uh, um, different. In pretty good shape. Needs a good cleaning. Love the Viking. Uh, he's marked uh, Depose Italy with a number. Should be able to look him up. Really, uh, really neat piece. He's uh, not sure what he is. Oh, I love the girl. Um, Japanese girl, and you can swap out her uh, wigs, and it comes with a with paper explanation for handmade dolls, handmade dolls and wigs. Pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> never seen such a thing. Uh, that was uh, 20 on this one. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, uh, so that's it. Check out my store. And uh, till next time, it's Will Yard Sales Survivalist. And we'll talk again soon.